Do you ever wonder what to actually do when a girl looks at you? When she looks right at you, gives you attention and kind of sends that signal of attraction. A lot of us guys get shy, they look away and we kind of fuck it up, right? And that sucks because who knows what's on the other side of that opportunity? Who knows what could have been if you would do the right thing? So in this video, I want to talk about what to do when a girl looks at you. Now, before we talk about the technical steps, one, two, three, I wanna talk about the foundations, which means how do we even get into the situation that women look at us in the first place? Well, of course, we need to make ourselves seen, which initially means go to places where women are, right? If you're always at home, or your attention goes into your phone, even on your way home, and you don't leave the house much, and you always have headphones on, and you kind of like, you closed off in your body language, it will be very difficult for women to even notice you. So show up, show up on the street, take walks, work a little bit in big coffee shops, big Starbucks, where there's a lot of fragmentation, people coming in and out, but also people studying and working. Go to clubs, go to bars here and there, if it fits your lifestyle, you know, you don't, you don't have to become a party animal, but at least be around the female energy. And then when you show up, actually show up. Dress well, put something on that might be worthy of attention, of respect. Have your shoulders back, have your head up. Look other people in the eyes, otherwise you don't even notice that women look at you in the first place. So, show up and then actually show up. Okay, let's talk about what to do when she then actually looks at you. One thing I forgot, don't jizz, by the way. <laughs> if you constantly put your jizz, your sperm, into a tissue or into a whatever, into the shower, wherever you do it, you don't have to comment. You're letting your life fluid, your, your whole like spirit goes out of your body. Your attraction leaves, your testosterone goes down. And if you've ever practiced semen retention and spent time in public, you will have noticed the difference if you are aware. I certainly have, many of my clients have, many of my friends have. It's consistent, it's across the board, it's, I think it's scientifically proven as well. Don't quote me on it, but it just makes sense. If you're full of testosterone, if you're full of your life juice, women will look at you. They will get more, more attracted to you and they will give you attention. So, stop jizzing, please. If you wanna go more into that topic, semen retention and training your PC muscle and certain tantra breathing techniques and general way of not letting your sperm out even during sex, you can look that stuff up or you can comment below, I can send you some resources. Now let's actually look at step-by-step -step guide when a girl looks at you. The next time a woman looks at you, straight at you, I want you to do the following. And again, this is about mindset. We're still not getting started. Actually believe that she looks at you because you are attractive, because she's into you, because she thinks there's something interesting about you. That is actually the biggest step, the biggest mindset shift. If you are the kind of guy who whenever a girl looks at him is a bit shy, is thinking, what's wrong? What did I do wrong? Do I look weird? Is my hair weird? Does she not look like my, my clothing? Does she not like the way I'm sitting? Is there something awkward about me? Did I just say something wrong, right? If all of these mindsets and thoughts enter your mind, then that's a big problem because it will manifest itself in the way you react. And your perception of reality is your reality. So if you think negatively, the outcome will be negatively. If you think positively, you will have positive outcomes way more often in your life. It's crazy what a difference it makes. So she looks at you and you should just naively, overly optimistically think, she thinks I'm hot, she likes me, right? Because then what's the next step? You will look back at her instead of the mistakes that most guys do, which is looking away, shy, kind of worse, looking away and then looking back and then looking away again and then looking back which is the actual low status thing, right? There's this common belief that looking away from eye contact is like low status, but the real science is when you look away and then you look back, because then you kind of seek approval and suddenly the status of you is low, the status of, high, of her is high because you're seeking her approval. So you definitely don't want to break the eye contact. You want to keep looking at her. You don't want to stare at her nervously. You don't want to get the shock wave of, oh my God, a hot girl is looking at me, right? You want to stay calm. You want to stay grounded. Again, breathing techniques can be very powerful for that. I talk about that a lot in my videos. And you want to keep the eye contact and have a little bit of a smile on your face, right? Simple. That's the first step. And then we always check in with her. How does she react? Does she then look away nervously? Could be. 
or does she hold the eye contact? The way we continue kind of depends on what location we're in. Because basically we can boil it down to three different situations. On the street, so we are anonymous, the girl we're looking at, we've never seen her, she's never seen us. Then in, let's say, social frequent environments like the gym, the yoga studio, the university. So where people come in and out on a regular basis and we might see the same person over and over again over the course of a month or a year. And thirdly, social environments like bars, clubs, where people are more expected to being approached, expected to be looked at. So let's start with the last one, which is the bar, the club. Girl looks at you, well, she's maybe out to find a potential partner. She went out maybe to get laid, she made out to find a guy. So you should see it at that. You should see it as an invitation. So you can, again, smile back, maybe not a bit. If you open your mouth or not, doesn't matter. Definitely don't do like this, right? Just a, a light smile. If you're holding a drink, you can like cheers her a little bit or you do one of these or you nod your head a bit. So basically you recognize her and you show her I'm confident and I'm accepting your invitation. In situations like this, depending on your perceived status of her and vice versa, like how she perceives you, you could even get a little bit cheeky, right? Depends, are you alone in a bar and she's with a group of friends? Or are you with a group of friends and she looks a bit alone? Are you, you know, dressed super well and you have two or three girls around you that are also dressed well? Are you maybe at a table? Are you elevated in some way? We have to remember clubs are high status environments. That's why people book certain tables. That's why people spend a lot on alcohol. That's why there's shows where everybody, everybody's attention goes on one table, right? Depending on the situation you're in, I'd probably you're not like doing bottles and models every weekend, I assume. But you have to keep that in mind. You can get a little bit cheeky. You can do things like come here, right? You wave her over, which has to be delivered with a high level of confidence. If you're like, like this, it's obviously super cringe and awkward and she will be creeped out. So you can play with that. If the first one or two steps are positive, right? So she looks at you, you look back, you smile, she keeps looking you nod, maybe she nods, or you cheers, she cheers, opens her eyes, smiles a bit, then you can do the wave. It's not the first thing you do. Now, moving to a different environment, which is, let's assume, the gym. Here you want to be careful with approaching, because you're not anonymous anymore. In the other two environments, you are. You go there and you leave, right? On the street, you go, you walk past, you leave. In the club, you go out, you leave. In the gym, you show up, ideally a couple times a week, and so does the woman that is staring or looking at you, inviting you. So you wanna keep it really chill. You don't wanna go all the way and approach. So we're gonna get used to each other. We're gonna get comfortable with each other. So if she looks at you, again, don't be nervous, don't be shy. Smile back, nod at her. Maybe you walk past each other, maybe a little bit of a hi, or hey, what's up? Or how you doing? Or hello, or there we get. Without expecting anything in return, right? You're saying it in a way that's just like throwing things out and just making you seem grounded and comfortable and makes you seem like you do this all the time with everybody. You're a social person. You wanna basically convey that energy that it's no big deal for you that she looks at you. You're just stable. And then if this happens a few times, well, you could eventually approach. Maybe you're both using the same machine or next to each other. And you can say, hey, how's your day going? Or hey, how, how long have you been working out here? Or hey, where are you from? Or hey, what's your name? Or hey, I noticed you a few times. What's your name actually? You live in the city? Cool, right? And you can start making conversations like that. This is a topic for another video, but you would then not straight up ask her out for a date. It's still, you're building comfort in situations like that. What you don't want to do is become the guy who asks girls out in these situations all the time. It's uncalibrated, it's creepy, it makes her uncomfortable. Because remember, she didn't go to the gym to meet a guy. She did go to the gym to, uh, she did go to the club to meet a guy, but she didn't go to the gym to meet a guy. That's, I think, pretty clear on that. So now let's talk about the street where it's different because the difference in the street is if you don't take the opportunity right away, she will be gone out of your life forever. So, you're walking. You're feeling good, you're feeling sexy. A girl looks at you. Now basically, you have to ask yourself, are you a man or not? I'm a man of my word. Are you gonna take action or not? Because she stares at you, she walks past you, and then you kind of have three to maximum five seconds, right? In the, in the 
cold approach community, we have the three second rule, which is basically as soon as you notice her, you should approach within three seconds. Why is that so important? Apart from she just walking away and you have to walk more. It shows conviction. If you're the kind of guy who can do it within one second, right? Maybe she looks, you look and you're like, hey lady, how was your day? You look great. Then it's a 0.7 second rule and it's even better. Everything over three, four, five seconds basically tells her you're hesitating, you're not sure about yourself, you're a bit shy, you don't know if it's gonna work, and all of that is negative. Versus the positive, which is going straight in, it shows her you think that it's gonna work and that's why you do it. And this is crucial. So, taking a few steps back here, girl looks at you, you look, you smile, maybe she then looks away in a shy way, which can happen. Or she holds the eye contact and nods back. Doesn't matter too much to be honest, because we wanna do approaches on the street, not only when the invitation is very clear, we wanna do it anyway. And we especially wanna do it even if she doesn't look at us, even if she's not aware of us, we still wanna approach if we find an attractive girl. Because if you wait every time, on the street that a woman looks at you and then looks back and smiles back, you're gonna do like five approaches a year, except you're like especially good looking or like have an incredible sense of fashion or you're super jacked or whatever, right? For us normal guys, it doesn't happen that often. So don't rely only on that. But if when it happens, you definitely wanna take advantage of it. So she looks back, she smiles back, or she looks away, it doesn't matter. You got three seconds. And then the crucial part is when you approach, you wanna do it in a way that makes her believe that you believe that it's gonna work. You come in with an energy of, hey, what's up? Hey, what's your name? Hey, I noticed you looked at me, it was cute. Whatever you're gonna say, a million options. I made a whole video on that, how to approach and how to do openers and how to basically have comfortable flirtatious conversation in another video, which you can click. But really, you don't want to come in with a negative attitude. I realized that when I did approaching, I thought, oh, I'm getting rejected or my students are getting rejected or girls don't like being approached. I got that in my head, but it's not true at all. They just don't like to be approached badly. And being approached badly basically means when a guy comes in, either way too arrogant, cocky or touching her early. Okay, that's the aggressive section. But the other extreme is coming in too shy, not confident, not believing that it's gonna work. Basically putting a negative label on the interaction before the interaction even starts. So you're basically fucking it up before it's even beginning. If you don't believe in it, she doesn't believe in it, right? There's a million ways to say it, but basically go for it and believe in yourself. Come in with that attitude. Because, what did I say at the beginning of the video, your perception is dictating your reality. And if you actually come in and think, hey, this girl likes me, she's gonna talk to me. Hey, we're gonna have a great conversation. Maybe I'll get, get her number. Maybe I'm gonna meet her for a date. I think this is possible. I think I can do this. Yeah, I, I did it before at least one time. So let's do it again, bam. If you come in with that attitude, you will succeed 10, 20, 50 times more than if you don't. That's the basics, conversation, as I said, in other videos. And that's enough on that. If you wanna work with me personally in, a long-term mentoring program where I help you become more confident, talk to my ladies, build a social circle, communicate good on texting, on online dating apps, on social media, and click below and book a free call. And we're gonna talk about your situation. Until then, remember, you only one approach away from something magical coming to your life. So use the opportunity and thanks for watching. Appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.